Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 17. And here's the Word of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly place. Therefore, take up the full armor of God, so that you will be able to resist on the evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, having belted your waist with truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having strapped on your feet the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6, 10 to 17. Here's my devotional. Be strong in the Lord and wear God's armor. According to this letter, Paul gives all believers the training in order to combat and defeat darkness and Satan's army. Paul has two requirements to win the battle against evil forces stated in verses 10 and 11. First, we must be strong in the Lord and lean on his strength and power. Second, we must put on the full armor of God to stand firm against all tactics or strategies of the devil. Many Christians fail to do the first instruction for the training for the battlefield. In high school, I trained to be a cadet officer and I was a platoon leader. It took many months of mental and physical training, strength training, to see if we are capable to, to lead our subordinates and win competitions. It wasn't a real battlefield, but we were trained to be disciplined for possible invasion in my country of origin. All soldiers and officers undergo certain training to strengthen their bodies and mind and senses so they can all be watchful of the enemy's attacks. Paul explains that spiritual warfare is something we do not see, so our equipping and training must also be geared to focus on how we are attacked in the supernatural realm like rulers, powers, principalities, and darkness. So our weapons are not physical ones, but our spiritual armaments such as truth, righteousness, the gospel of peace, faith, salvation, and the, sword, and the word of God. Paul uses a clear picture of how we are to use these spiritual weapons to fight the evil surrounding us constantly by illustrating the armor that a soldier uses in the battlefield. We need to focus on being strong in the Lord meaning we need to know our God's power and might so we can lean on Him before we can actually wear His armor. Reflection. Why is it important to know our God first before we can actually combat dar darkness? Um, if you are an unbeliever, you would not have any clue how the God of peace, the God our Creator, the only true God is. You wouldn't know how much He loves you. You wouldn't know His power, His strength. You wouldn't know His creativity. You wouldn't know um, His authority. You wouldn't know anything. So therefore, you cannot fight the battlefield if you are not in the know who is your actual commanding officer. Because you need to obey a commanding officer before you can go in the battlefield. Because if you go on your own, you're going to be defeated right away. So if we do not know our commander, our 
officer above us, the one we are responsible to obey for, how do we how do we follow him? We can't follow him, right? So it's important that we we are able to um, recognize and go out of our way to understand who God is and who who he, he is and what he can what he is what we can what we can only do because we are his creation that is very important because a lot of christians go to spiritual warfare without even knowing who jesus is who god is so and then they wear all the armor they wear the gospel uh of peace they wear the 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 sword of the spirits they use all these things without actually knowing who they're working for or who their their co commanding officer is so can you imagine <clears throat> an army without a leader an army without an orcus or orchestration of somebody leading them to go here go there and go and do that go and do this it will be chaos right and they will be defeated so I think it's important that we uh, remember that part of uh, be strong in the Lord before you wear your armor. Um, so I encourage you to uh, do your, because we are always combating darkness every second, every hour of the day. Uh, in John 10, 10, it says that we have a, uh, we have a, that the enemy's uh, purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy us. So we need to be um, ready whenever we are being attacked or when, whenever there's a strategy that is bringing to bring us down. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching. Be ready for any warfare, any devil's attack, any tactic know your Lord and study him um, eat the Word of God and you will never be able to be defeated by the enemy